newborn baby. Congratulations on your new baby. Bringing a baby home for the first time can be scary and exciting, especially if this is your first one. Here are 10 tips from your Asian health services providers to remember during this newborn period. Breastfeeding. There is not a specific amount that your baby needs to feed each day, as that can vary from child to child. Babies may be feeding a lot at first, sometimes as often as every one to two hours. The longest they should go between feedings in the newborn period is three hours. In the beginning, it may take some days for mom's milk to fill the breast, but keep at it. The more the baby sucks, the more your milk will be stimulated for production. Breast milk offers both nutrition and increased immunity for your baby. Your doctor will supplement your baby with vitamin D for better calcium absorption. Spit-ups can be normal, but any vomiting or projectile vomiting needs immediate medical attention. Try not to use a pacifier until breastfeeding has been established. No water, tea, or honey should be given to your baby in the newborn period. Water can be given at six months. Honey can be given after 12 months. Teas should generally be avoided in infancy. Always put your baby on their back to sleep so that they don't suffocate. No pillows in the bed, no stuffed animals in the bed, no hard objects in the bed. The umbilical cord stump usually takes one to two weeks to dry and fall off. When it is still on, do not pull it and try not to get it wet. Remember, the umbilical stump was a group of blood vessels that connected mommy to baby inside of mommy's tummy. As this dries off, you may see some yellow discharge or bleeding because the baby's body is disconnecting the stump. Tell your doctor about any odor, bleeding, or pus draining from the stump. Fever is an emergency. 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius is considered a fever in a newborn. Always use a rectal, forehead, or ear thermometer for a more accurate temperature reading. Anyone with a cough, runny nose, sore throat, fever, or just not feeling well should stay away from a newborn baby as much as possible. If your baby does have a fever, you need to seek immediate attention by calling the clinic or going to Oakland Children's Hospital Emergency Room. Jaundice is when the baby's skin looks yellow. Jaundice happens because the liver is brand new. The marker of the jaundice, also known as bilirubin, sometimes goes up too high or too fast. This can be dangerous for your baby's brain. Therefore, it is very important to keep all the appointments scheduled for your baby in the first few weeks of life. Bring the baby in sooner if you notice their skin is very yellow. Peeling skin is not a symptom of dryness. Any topical lotion is generally not recommended for the first month of life. When babies are inside mommy, they are surrounded by amniotic fluid. When they come out, they shed the layer of skin that was protecting them inside. Be careful of the soft spot on the top of your baby's head. 
this is where the skull bones have not completely closed yet so that your baby's brain can grow. Be careful not to poke or injure that area. Car seats should always be rear facing and in the middle of the back seat. If there is no middle seat, then behind the driver or passenger seat is fine. If it is a minivan, then the baby should be in the middle row. Make sure mommy is well supported after the baby is born because it is exhausting to give birth and feed your baby around the clock. Make sure mommy gets some sleep or time to herself each day. Help mommy with chores like washing dishes, changing diapers, and cleaning the house. Take mommy in to see her doctor if she seems very sad or not like herself. She may need some medication or help from other doctors to get through this time. We want all of our kids to grow up happy, healthy, and start life off on a good note. An aha moment brought to you by Asian Health Services.